some basic concepts of chemistry is the first chapter in the class 11th chemistry. The chapter deals with the basic concepts which are very important for understanding the chemistry of class 11th and 12th. These uh, basic concepts though are can be you are from the different fields but definitely they are very useful in making you understand the uh, three parts of the chemistry which we have usually the physical, inorganic and the organic one. The first thing which is to be uh, uh, made very clear to you in this chapter are the laws of chemical combinations. Laws of chemical combinations. These are the basic five laws which, uh, which tells us how the atoms and the molecules of the different substances combine with each other to form new compounds. There are five laws which are basically done under this heading called laws of chemical combinations. The first law is The first law is called law of conservation of mass. Law of conservation of mass. It was given by Lavoisier in the 18th century who is also regarded as the father of chemistry. The law states that the total mass, this law states that the mass of the reactants is the sum of the mass of the reactants is always equal to the sum of the masses of the products in all chemical reactions. So in all chemical reactions remember the sum of the masses of the reactants is always equal to the sum of the masses of the product. Because according to this law, the mass can neither be created nor be destroyed. So the whatever the mass of the reactants we are taking will always be equal to the mass of the products. And no, nothing or no atoms or molecules are lost. So always the masses remains the same. This law can very well be explained by taking the example like methane and oxygen combines to form CO2 and water. If 16 grams of methane combines with 32 grams of oxygen and in this 44 grams of suppose CO2 is formed so we can find out easily what will be the mass of the water which is formed in this definitely because 32 plus 16 is the sum of these two is 48 grams so if the CO2 alone is 44 definitely the water mass will be 4 grams so that the sum is also 48 grams. So this is how it is valid for all reactions, all chemical reactions. The sum of the masses of the reactants is always equal to the sum of the masses of the product. I can give you one more example. Suppose this, this example was not as per the stoichiometry or the coefficients. Suppose we take nitrogen and hydrogen and we form we know that they will combine to form ammonia if we balance it like this. We know if there is uh, 28 grams of nitrogen combines with 6 grams of hydrogen. Definitely the sum is 34. The mass of the ammonia formed has to be 34. 
because the summation of the mass of the reactant is always equal to the summation of the mass of the products. This is what is your law of conservation of masses. But remember, there is an exception to this law also. And the exceptions are radioactive reactions. Because the radioactive, in radioactive reactions, the mass is never conserved. The mass of the product is always less than the mass of the reactants and the difference is converted to energy by the E equals to mc square equation. So this is its exception. Else it is valid in all examples.